you could have done. Anyway, we're back. Oh, we got Seuss. I believe we have some winner semis action incoming with Parrot 6632 versus Complete Upset. So it's unfortunate that we get get to see his other match because it'd been easier to describe how he plays a little bit earlier, but I I like his Susano, essentially. I think he, he's very aware of what Susano is capable of. He's aware of the Susano mechanics and can use Susano fairly well. And because that is what I'm saying, I think this should be a pretty good match. What do you have to say? Um, I just hope he doesn't get into the corner. For his own sake. I do too. It could be a hard time for any any player in the corner versus a kid versus such high lows. He cannot. There is no water. But, uh... Oh. But, but Susano does have the range. He, yes, please. Um, Susano does have the range. Oh, but that's not what I wanted to see. Tech people, um, tech. And this is another one of the, the hold button to tech games. So not not holding it is a little worrisome. But there you go, big B and B, three K. He's got big beefy damage and knows how to. Knows how to oppress with his bones. Oh boy. Yeah, who? Yeah, like, hey, I'm gonna set up some bombs or stuff. No, you're not. I'm gonna oh, rush but good. that was jumped. That was a great jump on the on the command grab that Parrot had just unlocked. First round. First round to Parrot. And, you know. Susano is also no slouch when it comes to bullying somebody in the corner. As uh, met mentioned earlier, that one, the punch punch, that can, that's, that's a pretty oppressive button. It's a pretty oppressive character as a whole. Yeah, he seems to be like that. Tech, tech. Got pogo. And we still don't have tech, but... Oh, dude. Pans the way out. That was big pan is invincible. So. We got the whiff punish. We got the bat. Overdrive oh, through the punch punch and get the free punish for it. And that should up, drop that, and no burst from Parrot. That's that's probably the first. We'll probably I think that he was going to die, or B thought that he needed the overdrive or burst for the six round. <laughs> yeah, I think this this could play this particular matchup pretty well. Um, just because of his range, he'd be able to not get the the initial unga from Platinum isn't as valid whenever, or isn't as good whenever you ha you're dealing with. Big bees and big, big hitboxes like of Susano. Another overdrive. It's uh, it's not no active flow, but Trumpy uh, Dubstep is in is getting closer to active flow. So. Oh, 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 no crossing, fine. crossing up, but there was only like but so now. Oh, oh watch yeah. uh, watch your feet. I yeah, tried to watch his feet, but it was actually the dome that was in danger. One, one, oh, in Parrot's favor. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel one, action. Ooh, double air dash forward, opening gambit. And Comfy takes, wins the gambit with an air throw. Doesn't get much more off of it. And this is this is the thing again, right? It's. In a fairly general oh but tech roll roll tech he doesn't have invincibility all the way through. So if you try to roll tech and they put a meaty up on you, like the bubble, then you'll get off of it. Okay, we got rockets. And this is kind of the thing, right? I've n I don't think I've gotten to commentate much of Perry's game. But the thing that usually goes on with Comfy Dumps up is that if he's able to get 
the Vortex going like he did in that round. And it's usually a pretty done deal for him. He's a very Feast or Famine player. If he gets the Vortex going, it's probably just his round. If he doesn't, he has he tends to struggle a lot. And Terry doesn't seem to look is finding his moments. He's being able to get around the opening of Funky Ducks a lot and does is, and as such is negating a lot of the All I'm wondering right now is what is this Dragon Ball music? <laughs> oh boy, do you you're trying to trying to listen to some more uh, Trying to listen to some more Bang Bang theme. Ooh. That that uh I believe it's his 6A. That little palm force palm thing from Fusino. I really like that button. I think it's cool. It's a cool projectile. Yeah. Having having hit scan projectiles in my fighting games is always a always a treat. Okay, even he can get even he can get up in rounds and if he wins this one he'll take it so let's see if Goku will be able to get the vortex going this time around. Yeah you can definitely tell the time that Dubstep has put into this game. With all the stuff that he is able to um, pull out in all the different situations. Like not not like a uh, in the middle of the screen and his uh, mm. oof. His opponent's up like a little too high for what he's normally used to. Knows what to do, throws him back down with the hammer spin as well. Attacking on that more damage, pushing him in or into the corner every single time. You can also see Parrot, um, the time that Parrot's put into it. Well, I guess a little bit of general mechanic knowledge is a bit missing. Stuff like this, right? When he goes overdrive, he definitely knows his combos and he definitely knows the buttons that he needs to press. He knows his frame traps and he knows his block streams really well. And he definitely knows how Sana works. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, my block. No, the doom. You gotta watch the magic meter. If he's got the green, you best believe overhead to incoming. Blocks the. Comes out to block the bubble, but then comes back and does not protect the dome. Oh. Oh, yeah, and there's the counter it. But no, no combo, just two hits. Oh, oh there's the overhead. That's so much damage. First. Yeah. Questionable, but. Oh, no dash for the. In the bubble. Whoa! Oh. Six seasons shuffles away. Really wild, wild round there. A, lot of, a bit of spaghetti. I'm not entirely sure if that, uh, if that burst was necessary. As I think the combo might have dropped, but you know, better safe than sorry, right? But he will be out of his burst for a while in this game. Was, Parrot will be getting his back momentarily. Oh boy. It just feels <laughs> like Susana does a lot. Like all the, like all the things that are going on in screen, his particles and hit the sounds he does, it just seems like there's a lot going on with him. And now he has his overdrive. No, Kofi does up an active hole, but first very I'll say that was a very questionable burst. I mean, on one. on one hand, he may have bursted just to try to save that because he was like, he had two kits of health left. He got one hit and was like, okay, I burst, I'll burst it. But why do that if he had one health? Susana was really unhealthy. Yep, and as having that overdrive cancel through these buttons in particular, through that 6 beat, is so important for. For the matchup, otherwise he'll get oppressed a lot, and now he's just out of it, possibly for the round. Mm. Big beefy buttons. You're right. Everything that Susano does just looks like it hurts so much. I mean, it also may just be the skin. Yeah. But anyway, it goes dash high, and that okay. will finish up this match. Two, one, and Parrot's favor. The good stuff up there. Definitely knows knows his combos. I think I think he also knows how to tech because he tech later on. But I mean, when teching is just holding a button, you everyone right? should inherently know that.